better these days, but geez. Yeah, it's kind of impossible when you go to fast food. It's just like always shitty. Who can turn down? <laughs> it's amazing. You're fully like, loaded. I need potato. to watch my salt. I'm trying to eat as much as possible. Good grief. All right, so it's about four o'clock first morning. We're beyond pumped. Here comes Mark. We're trying to get out there as early as possible. This place is uh, known for getting hunted pretty hard. Hopefully we can get to our spots. What? Before anybody beats us there. He's talking to this guy. All these people, all these nice people watching, all four of them. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. We are packed to the gills in here. This Luke's little Jeep. It gets smaller every time. <laughs> you know, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, we just split up Mark. We're gonna go over to where, hunt, where we're hunting. Um, I do believe there's quite a few people coming in. And uh, we'll see, man. These deer are gonna be getting pushed around quite a bit. Hopefully we can get some action where we're at. Not people. The parades could stay away. But that guy has a huge spotlight on his head. <laughs> Jesus. We're trying to get in here early so they wouldn't beat us in here. Looks like I got I got beat. Seems to be a possum up there. What the heck? He's on my rope. It's beautiful. 
Jean. A little bit of a breeze and keeping it nice and cool right now. I'm probably going to get roasted here in a minute when the sun comes up, but I'm not in a tree that I wanted to be in. I had a uh, preset pull-up rope. As I was pulling up my, my climbing rope, it, um, it came undone from the, the climbing rope and, and, uh, and I, I didn't want to throw my throw ball in the dark. I hate doing that. So, but I had another preset in this tree cause it, it kind of depended what the wind was going to do. Either way, this, this tree isn't like ideal for the wind that I have right now. It's an east wind coming from my back. Um, but that said, I, I have a ton of visibility here. I can see a couple hundred yards in most directions. So as long as they come from behind me or from the south, I'll be in good shape. Guys, sorry to interrupt this video. I know you're dying to see this buck that John shot, but I just wanted to make a couple quick, really quick announcements. Uh, so first off, you guys might be watching this video thinking to yourselves, damn, what is that awesome camo that these guys are hunting out of? This camo right here, this is our new Swamp and Stomp High Pine camo. And this camo was specifically designed to break up your silhouette uh, in the direction that a deer might see you, and that is from a downward angle up into a tree. As you can see, it's got the sky in the background, and so it's gonna make it blend in better with what deer actually see when you're hunting from a tree stand. Not only that, but we've teamed up with Wood Hunting Saddles to make this saddle. This is their deluxe saddle with the Swamp and Stomp High Pine camo on it. Now, if you wanna get yourself this saddle or some of this camo, you can find all of it on our website. Also, for the first morning was pretty much a bust. Uh, neither Mark or I saw a deer, or deers, the S. Um, oh man, but, uh, we saw some pretty sweet birds. The birds were amazing. Like, I mean, if you're, if you're uh, not really a great hunter, get into bird watching because you always have a successful hunt. <laughs> so that's pretty much how I see it. I mean, I'm a, I saw so many woodpeckers, dude, it was beautiful. Black bellies. Yeah. I saw that new species of uh, red speckled or uh, spotted shoulder hawk, and then I saw red shoulder hawks recording. Also, uh, all kinds of egrets, herons, blue herons, wood ducks. Yeah, it was uh, very eventful. No four legged creatures. Um, Alex did see that bear. That's true. Alex saw a bear. And Freddie Freddy shot a buck. Yeah. So, Evan and I went out this morning, and this edge that we were gonna sit, there were not two hunters, but four hunters already there. Um, and the guy walked out and kind of politely asked me to not go sit where I was intending on, which there was already somebody maybe 50 yards from where one of the trees I was gonna put me or Evan in and uh, yeah so it didn't work out um, so we walked back to the truck tried some of my other old spots and there were a lot of trucks at one of them we tried walking in another one and it just didn't work out so here we are driving around um, I've got a spot that we can go in later, but, uh, this morning I already sent my cousin and a buddy of mine back there, so I'm not going to ruin his hunt, um, for the sake of, of mine. My cousin just shot a buck. We are, uh, 
in route to help him get it out. Uh, it's his first buck with the bow. This is actually like his. Uh, this is his first bow hunt ever, and uh, I took him out and put him in a spot last night. And uh, man, he got it done, which is really cool. Let's go. Look at that. That is a cool looking rack, dude. I was Look glassing one way, and Here. as I came across, I kind of like did a double take on it. Uh huh. From, I don't know, like 80 yards, and I just watched it walk all the way up, and the whole time I was like, it's gotta be long enough. It's yeah. gotta be big enough. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was right there, dude. 20 yard so, shot. Right there. Smoked him right here. Spined him, though. Yeah, well. It's not ideal, but I was, I was, he took uh, care of business. Was pumping, dude. I was shaking. <laughs> took care of business quickly enough afterwards, so. Yeah. We're good, dude. All right. Stoked. First bow hunt, first deer. Yeah, you believe that look, guys? <laughs> By 8.40 in the morning. It's his first bow hunt ever. <laughs> he hunts not even a full two hours, <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a deer down. Your first... Fuck, dude. Still it's shaking a little. Really cool, really cool rack. Oh. Uh, but how are you feeling so far? Oh, you're filming. Yeah, I'm feeling tired now. <laughs> <laughs> a little sweaty. We're Adrenaline's good. still pumping. But that's good. You know what? In all the years you hunt, that's what drives us. That's what, um, it's one of those feelings you you can't really describe to anybody. It's definitely it's a hell of a high. A, definitely adrenaline, but um, the moment that you decide you want to shoot an animal, it hits you. Um, so. Yeah, I got, I got hit with some shaky hands, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I stuck him. I, so I'm I'm proud with that. That's your first dose of buck uh, fever. I am proud of that. Far so. from the last, I assume. Who's your favorite cousin? This one. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Back out here for the afternoon. I got in here and I dropped my bike. I got 150 yards from here, and uh, I look over and I see two deer crossing the road and heading into the woods that are right here on the north side of me. And um, I hustled across, like parallel to the direction they were going, hoping that I'd cut them off. I, I couldn't tell if there was a buck, but the way they were moving, it kind of seemed like a buck chasing a doe. And they, they never came out, so they might still be back in here. I put a bunch of um, estrus dopey in this scrape right here and put a little dripper and put some branch butter on the licking branch I'm hoping that a deer catches that scent today or well if they do it today I'll see them but hoping tonight they catch that scent and they just start running around here looking for a hot doe in which case I might get a chance tomorrow morning but it wasn't a whole lot of action on the cameras so, here's hoping. We'll go quiet and see if these deer come out.
just now put my camera away. seeing the tail flicker. It's hard to say. Let's go walk through the swamp. They said it'll be fun. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I wonder how I get myself into this stuff. Yeah. So This is what it's like hunting in South Florida. <clears throat> Paranoid right now. I thought I heard something right then, but Evan. Evan is on the next uh, the next block from me. Well, not even really that far, maybe 300 yards. He said a big six just winded him. Coming my, it's coming my way, but uh, I don't see it yet. I'm hoping. As you guys know, we love to give back to the community that supports us. So for this giveaway, we're going to be giving away a full outfit of our Swamp and Stomp High Pine camo, a shirt and pants, as well as a face mask and one of these wood deluxe hunting saddles with the Swamp and Stomp High Pine camo on it. And the, all you have to do to get in on the giveaway is just become a paper, Patreon member and you can click the link that's right up there or go down to the link in the description to become a member. Last but not least, I'm sure you guys have noticed that in Florida here, our hunting community is great, but sometimes it can be a little bit hostile and there's a lot of negativity. Well, we're just kind of tired of it. So uh, we went ahead and created a space where you guys can come ask us questions, ask other hunters questions, and share your experiences with other, other hunters. And it's a Facebook group, so go check it out. Just look up Swamp and Stomp Florida Hunters United. Join the group, tell your friends about it, and uh, go post your pictures, your experiences, and everything. We'd love to interact with you guys on that group. So we'll see you guys there. Now let's get back to this video. Evan's now at it. at least two bucks by him into dough. Walk right by.
so I hit him right here it was just outside of frame it's his paw print he was just getting ready to make work on this scrape Dude, that wasn't even 10 yards I don't I don't understand this I think I hit shoulder. It's possible. It's possible he died. If it penetrated shoulder and and got to the lungs behind it, maybe he didn't go that far, but we're gonna find out. So I've got blood here. I know he came this way. I lost him. Not far after, uh, not far after I shot. Almost a hundred yards from it. I got good blood coming here. Um, it's just, I mean, the blood's real good. I got a pretty good feeling he's about to be on the ground somewhere here, but I could be wrong. Guys, look at this. I don't know if you can see this, but this is my deer. Oh, it penetrated awesome. Or it penetrated. Oh my god, this is a stud. My gosh, look at this stud. Look at him. <laughs> look at him. Got a solid nine. Look at that mass. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> gosh, I'm doing terrible at this video, I think. But he is a nine pointer. I'm losing light in here. I'm gonna drag him back out. Look at that. <laughs> but he's got mass. I mean, he is just. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's probably. I think he's older Shot than you're saying. Right I think there, he's came good. Out. Four and a half, five and a half. I think he's over five. Shot one in there, came hey. out on the other side. I just figured three and a half. No, nah, dude. No way, man. Look at the gut on that thing, dude. That's yeah. an old bug. That's an old bug. Look at the the mass on those antlers. There's some mass. On yeah, yeah there. Tells you more than anything. Look at, I mean, it takes a, a long time to get to that. 
Yeah, he's swole. I mean, it's he's a good buck. Really it's so hard to tell. Maybe it's for me. It is. How you feel, man? I feel well, awesome. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. Uh, I was so disappointed with the shot you made. Yeah. Well, it cool looked guy. like the arrow was sticking like way out of him when I shot. Did it come out the other side? It's, it's poking through. Okay. Right, yeah. right there. So you smoked yeah. it. Yeah, you pretty I, much just destroyed a one whole log. One right whole log. That's the entrance. Yeah. Was he right below you, dude? He was no, ten he was yards. Ten so yards, not even tree. like eight. <laughs> he was so dude, far up in the tree. Being a mile high is the way to do it. He came out. He was he was walking through this dead Maluka that was only about like six feet tall, and uh, I only heard him maybe fifty yards out. And so I stood up, got the camera ready, grabbed my bow. And then he popped out, uh, not quite where I was expecting, and he walked right to this straight scrape that was underneath my uh, oh, my shit. stand. And I got the camera on, just turned as far as I could go that way. And uh, there was a little palmetto there. As soon as he went behind the palmetto, I drew, um, and I could really only see the front, like top half of his body. Um, and I knew if he went any further, he was definitely out of the camera frame. Uh, there's no way I was gonna get it on camera, so uh, I let it fly right there, and uh, and I saw him running away. It looked like the arrow was like way out there, but apparently it was, you know, maybe this far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was not happy. I thought I, I blew it. Um, yeah, you were blowing up on the text. Oh, dude, I was so <laughs> not happy. It was like just a horrible feeling. Yeah. And uh, and then when I got down and I just started finding blood, I was like, oh, he's bleeding good. I was like, Dude, and, and I there was there was bubbles in yeah, it. You sent me the, the picture. I was like, he is definitely dead. Yes, yeah, I, saw that blood with the bubbles in I it. I don't like, like oh to get it too excited. I like, love like, that little I, kicker right there. I do That's too. So cool. You gonna uh, get it mounted? Michelle wants me to. Yeah, you should. That's uh, a freaking stud. It's a beautiful rack. Yeah. Dude, you should absolutely mount no, that deer. I, it's just gonna suck keeping it out tonight. <laughs> Keep it out? What do you mean? Cape it out? Oh, it's worth it. You ain't hunting tomorrow. You're tagged yeah. out. You might as well sleep tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Sleep. But. I'd help you, but I'm filming. You're fine. Matt. Uh -huh.